Hi, my name is Wasim Siddiqui and I am with Cisco DNA Engineering. Today I will show you how you can use Cisco DNA Center to track clients in your network. So what is the client tracking feature? This feature allows you to track clients, wireless or wired, when they join or connect your network. You can enable notification when this happens. This feature was first included in DNA version 2.33 onwards. You can enable client tracking from the client health page as well as from the client 360 page and I will walk you through both of these uh, scenarios uh, using a live cluster. Let's quickly walk through the snapshots before we jump to a live cluster. This is the client health dashboard where you can where you can enable multiple clients to track uh, to track them. You can also see the list of the clients from this link over here. Once you click on that, this is a sidebar that comes in where you can see the list of track clients as well as you can add newer clients. This is how you configure the notification for the client tracking on the notification uh, section of DNA. You uh, search for clients detected connecting on network event and you enable that for notification. Again, I'll walk you through this. If you go to the client 360 page, at the bottom there's a row for tracked. Currently, this client is not tracked. When you click on it, there's a sidebar. You can enable the tracking and set up the option and save the configuration. It is important to know that there's two parts to client tracking. One is to actually track the client, enable the tracking of the client, and the second part is to enable the notification. You can enable the tracking without a notification, but then you won't receive the notification. So uh, you, would, you should really do both if you are not monitoring Cisco DNA Center all the time. So let's switch over to a live cluster and walk through this feature. All right, so this is our live cluster, our demo cluster here. Let's go to the uh, client health page first. Burger menu, assurance, health. Click on the client tab here. This is our client health dashboard. At the bottom here, you will find our client table. There are two ways you can go about, uh, go about this to track uh, clients. Um, you can select multiple clients here, click on the action button and select track clients. So now you have two options. You can select the time period for which you want to track the clients. Either you can track them forever or you can uh, uh, track them for a specific time period. Then there's two options for notification frequency. On first detections means that we will only notify you when we detect the client for the very first time when it joins the network for the very first time that's the this option on every detection it that means that we will send you a notification every time the client joins the network so that's the two that's the difference between those two options so let's say you select this and you save it and the data gets saved and so the data gets saved here now the other way you can also look at it is you can click on this button here the track client uh, one more thing here we have a track column so you can see some of these clients are being tracked the track this says yes here you can also click uh, the track client uh, you can also monitor the track clients separately in its own table click on this track client link up here sidebar comes out and you can see the, all the clients that are currently being tracked Again, you can select them and edit the settings. If you want to modify it, you can add new clients uh, to track from here as well. Or we have another option where you can import a client list uh, via CSV format. So the purpose of this particular link is if you want to track a lot of clients instead of adding them one by one, um, or if you want to um, track a client that has not connected to the network yet, so it won't be found in the list. So what you can do is then create a CSV list of the MAC address you want to track and then import that list here. So this will set up the clients you want to track. That's the first part. 
the second part to this is you have to set up your notification so that we can notify you you go you do that by going to the subscription page so let's click on that so now we are creating we are setting up event notification when the client gets tracked so click on uh, click on create new let's do this um, so option is first option is which site you want to track this for uh, for our purposes let's just do it globally uh, but you can you know you can just track it on a particular uh, just for a specific site as well if you want to and then you select for the event that uh, is of interest for us we are looking for this specific event clients detected connecting on network so you select that it supports all the assurance channels that we all the notification channels that assurance supports click on next and you can select whatever channels you want obviously you have to set the channel up that is done on a separate uh, section um, for the demo purposes I've already set up a rest uh, link so let's choose that select instance I have selected um, um, a test instance here and yep that's done next uh, name and description um, client detected testing for demo you can add some description that you may want in your notification next so this is a summary and finish and that's it you have set up your notification so now let's go back up here let's refresh the page here let's check again yes as you can see the the earlier warning has disappeared because we've already set up the notification so this is how you can do it on the uh, client health page you can also do it from the client 360 page so let's go to a client 360 page we, um, let's go to a page that we are already tracking I just want to show you something else um, one thing you can see here we've got a yellow star uh, this indicates this client is being tracked all the uh, track lines will have this uh, this uh, yellow star on it and if you go to the bottom we also have a status here track line yes and we have uh, you know you have all the configs here that you can uh, edit and modify so this is for a client that is already being tracked let's go to a client that is not being tracked and see how you can modify it from the client 360 page let's choose this client let's go to its 360 page yeah there it is so as you can see there's no yellow star here so this is a client let's say we want to track the client again we go to the bottom tracked it says no so it is not being tracked currently click on no and you have the option the same option we discussed earlier you can enable the tracking and you get the same set of option and you can save that so so that's just another way you can do it directly from client 360 we added that for ease of use so there are two ways you can do this again uh, from the client 360 page as well as from the client health page where you have the list of clients and that's the client tracking feature I hope this feature helps you in your network monitoring uh, if you have any feedback please do um, let me know here's some further references for your information uh, we have a whole set of uh, via training videos that you can uh, refer to as well as the link to our uh, assurance users guide thank you very much